materials you'll need is hearth board, which is this right here, a spindle, bearing block, bow drill, bird's nest, which is unraveled twine, wood shavings, and birch bark. Then you're going to need your fire. So the hearth board you're going to want to be a soft wood. A good test to figure this out is thumbnail test. You stick your thumb on there and if it leaves a mark that means it's soft enough. You're going to want your spindle to be harder. That way it burns into the hearth board instead of burning down the spindle. Alright? Oh, you're also going to need a leaf or in my case a piece of paper to catch your coals. So first thing you need to do, take out your knife. You're going to want to drill a hole into your hearth board. Make sure it's round enough to fit your spindle, which I forgot to mention, you're going to want this end pointed down, uh, the point that's going into your bearing block, you want this to be a steeper point than the piece that's actually going to be near the creation of fire. You're going to want this blunt as you can keep it, but still keep it in the hole. Alright, so next you're going to do the burnout phase. So take your bow drill and your spindle, and with the spindle facing the top of the spindle facing down. You want to put that facing the ground, then twist it up, and then you're going to want to make it so it's twisted like this. Alright? You can use a piece of dead wood with a good curve on it or a piece of green wood that flexes, is flexible. So now you're going to do the burnout phase right here. So the way that you want to be positioned is since I'm a right hander, put my left foot on the board as close to the hole as possible. Your right knee directly behind your left foot. Left hand um, against your shin. And right now, not much pressure. And just grab a point on your bow. Start moving back and forth. At this point, you're not starting trying to start a fire. You're just trying to put a good hole into it. As you get going, you can apply more pressure. As you can see, we have smoke right now, but it's really pointless. So do this for a minute. Alright. Now that you got the hole um, burnt out, you want to take your knife and put a v-notch in it. So it's going to look like this. Once you finish, I'll show you once I'm done. Okay, once you've cut out your notch, I forgot to mention, you're going to want it to go about three quarters away into the burned out hole. You're going to want to restring your bow now, bottom down. Twist it up, put it into the hole that you just cut the V notch into. Get your foot as close as possible. Make sure your paper, leaf, etc. is underneath. Ready to catch the coal once you make it. Start going with light pressure. Right now you want to build up your base. Start adding some more pressure. You might be able to see that the notch is filling up with coal right now. Add more pressure, go fast. Smoking now. Just because you have smoke doesn't mean you're going to have air. Stop, take everything out slowly. Again, this is a stage where you're letting the coal grow.
take your coal, transfer it to your tinder bundle. Alright. Take your tinder, your bird's nest, pinch it, begin to blow on it. It's up in flame. Push it underneath your fire pit. You've got fire. Alright. There you go. Fire by Bojo. Alright, here's your fire. Once you're at this stage, you're going to want to continue to build up your fire, gradually putting on larger sticks. Hope you enjoyed this video. More than likely there will be more in the future on fire making, bushcraft, survival. Thanks for watching.